Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll be doing a review of Lego Marvel Spider-Man set 76244, Miles Morales versus Mobius. It's a good little set. I have built it in a previous video which should be on the channel now. But before we go any further, I would like to thank um, Esmeralda Vertigo for your um, for your for your comments on, on our video. Omar Montoya, thank you very much for your comment, and Hometown Hero, thank you very much for, su for subscribing to my channel. Um, I hope you I hope you enjoy the content. We will get on we will get on with this one. As you see, this is a um, this is a um, this is a, one of his classic Spider-Man sets where he's been given a car, and you get a car and a villain, which is which is quite good. But 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 the car they built is 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 a really it's a really nice build. It's it's like and what they've done they 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 they've, they've done a speed champion style build which is really nice. They they do have Miles Morales walking you through the build as well in the instruction manual, which is really cool. You have a Michael Mobius figure, which is quite nice. I can't remember if they put one in with the. Um, Daily Bugle set, but this is um, this is a cheap way of uh, this. Is a, this is a very good way of getting hold of a Michael a, a Mobius figure because it is quite nice. You've got a couple of vials of something there because Michael Mobius is a scientist. Comes with two Lego bats as well. So they do Lego bats like that. You get these every Halloween, um, and you can usually find them in the um, build your own minifigure section as well. So in Halloween time, um, you can be, you can usually build a witch or something, a witch hunter or something like that, and you can put a bat in as well. But they they are quite cool. Well, um, you've got the Mars Morales figure, that, which is basically a black Spider Man. It's, it's a black and red Spider Man um, with I'll take that off. Black and red Spider Man with some black legs, but it's a good little figure. Um, Mars Morales Spider Man is. It's quite a popular character now, so it's well worth having this figure anyway. That's quite good. Then, you, then he has a nice bit of webbing he can shoot out. Uh, you've, got a, you've got the full bag of Spider-Man webbing. The, um, the same one they put into the uh, um, uh, Avengers Advent Calendar this year, but they've done it in this clear blue instead, which is quite good because the other one was in gold. So like I say, you get different colours, always worth having. Because because you can do all sorts. You've got like a set of spider cuffs as well. So if he catches him, and you've got some extra bits of webbing as well, which is quite nice. Kind of tempted to put some webbing on the back of it, but you see that figure there is quite nice. But the thing that makes this set really good is the fact they have they have done a speed champion style build um, with the um, into. Um, into a superhero set, so you haven't just got a. It's it's not actually a. It's probably not a recognised. It's probably not one hundred percent recognised car. So for obviously for copyright reasons, but they have made a really nice, solid looking sports car with all the style in it. As you can see, it's got the Spider Man logo in it. They put some little dials in there. I'll just try and show you. You see, they put some dials in there. It's a grey steering wheel, not very exciting, because they used to put those in the Lego space stuff. It's got some stud shooters on the, on the sides there. It's got this nice clear red windscreen piece. That's very nice. You won't, I haven't seen that in, in any of the, um, um, in any of the uh, Speed Champion sets. Got a couple of nice air intake pieces on the side here. On the, as you see, the front of it does look very good. They've de they designed it really well. They've incorporated all the, they, they've, they've, they've gone a lot into the design of the car. They haven't just go, we'll make a, a, a basic Durenic, Dur Dur I can't say it, generic sports car um, for a superhero set. At the price point it is, it's not too bad. Um, I don't think, I probably didn't pay full, I very rarely pay full price for sets like this because they are usually kind of, they're not far enough um, up my wish list, but sometimes if you get these at the right price, they're worth getting because, because I'm glad I brought this one because 
you've got these bits on the back there which um, are for the exhaust. You can pull these bits, these bits do come off, as you can see. And then you can just have a normal car. You got, you've just got a normal looking like sports car, but take off the stud shooters as well, obviously. Take these bits off, you've got a normal looking like customised spy, um, customised spider sports car, the sort of thing that people would do anyway. It's a really nice little build for what it is. I know I, I do keep saying this, I keep picking it up, but I do actually like the I do actually like the Lego car builds. I don't overly enjoy I do find the build to be quite long and laborious, but the end result is generally worth it, and in this case it definitely is, because you put these bits on the back here. You've got a really big like exhaust bit there. Two more bits on here. And you've got a, an exceptionally nice looking. You've got an exceptionally nice looking vehicle. Even if you don't like the, um, even if you just like a speed champions man and, and you're not keen on superhero stuff, it's worth buying this set just for the car. And then keeping the figures in the keep keep the figures in the Lego box for um, for the future. Ta like I said, take the stud shooters off, and maybe if you don't want the excessive um, exhaust bits on, don't put these don't put these webby bits on. Keep um, keep the figures or just sell them on. You you'll probably get some. You'll probably get a bit of money for the Mobius figure now. I should think, but. If you sell a Mobius figure with the with the accessories, it's got the, it's got its vials and stuff there, and then you've got that. But you do get a really nice looking car. It's not, it's it's on par with the speed. It's it's not quite on par with the new speed champ sets have two seats, but it is a very nice looking car. If you just want just a nice looking Lego car and just on the just on the side of your and um, to go with your other cars, it, it's worth buying it for that because it. Doesn't look too cartoony. I mean, the spoiler goes up and down like that as well. It's got a nice little engine bit in there. The engine covers a really nice brick as well. Or even if you don't really like it in this colour, just rebuild it as um, rebuild it in whatever colour you want. But that red windscreen does look really cool. You know, you couldn't really do that in. Um, the country I live in, unfortunately, because there'd be probably laws against it and stuff like that. If you make if you make your car like that, unless unless you're taking it to shows and stuff like that, you probably have to um, tow it to shows just for safety and stuff like that. But it does look good. It's got the colour scheme. It's got everything. Everything it really needs to be. Um, it's it's just a good set. I can't say enough good things about this. And the stud shooters work. I'll try and prove, I'll prove that one now as well. Done this once, see if I can. See, didn't lose the stud. As you see, the stud shooters work as well. Didn't lose the studs, but you've got to be a bit careful when you put them back in because if you've got um, bigger hands like I've got, it does become quite tricky. This is a good set. It's a good set for the money. Uh, if you if you if you get a chance to buy it, um, if you just want a nice car, I would recommend it for that because it's a really nice, well built, solid, solid Lego car. It's not like they build a, not like these silly little spider cars they build in the um, nine pound sets. Um, you are. I thought sure. I'm not sure if this was like a thirty. If this is, a, I think this may have been a third, a twenty nine pound set, but. But you are paying for a good solid solid build for a car. So when it comes, it will come down in price eventually. And if you can get the set at a good price that you're happy with, if you just want it just for the car and just just want to sort of um, to just um, just uh, just get rid of the figures on the Spider-Man bit, because there must be someone you 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 would get a, you would get a bit of money for the figures as well. So. The car is very nice, the figures are good, the Michael Mobius figure's good, the Mars Morales figure's good. I like I, I like the accessory you got there, you've got the superhero thing going, you've got the car thing going. It's a good these are, this is a good set. Is it you've got a big good solid car, they've got the lights in there, the styling's done right, it hasn't been done too cheap, it's been done probably the way they used to do the original Speed Champions, what the one seater cars. 
But it's a one it's a one seat speed challenge car. It's very good for the money. I can't I can't pick this up any more than any more than I already am because I just think this the, I do think this set um, for um, if you're a seven year old who likes you likes you, likes your Lego cars, highly recommend this set. Lego are doing this a lot more now. They're building decent cars in their sets now, which is so it's actually worth keeping an eye out for certain sets at the prices. There's a Lego set with like a um, with like a really nice looking muscle car in it as well. It looks it looks a bit like a Dodge Charger, so very tempted. As in, if you watch my videos, you'll know I like Dodge Chargers. So, so not much. I'm trying to think any more I can really say about this to make this look good. But um, apart from Lego, I've done a really good job with this, and even um, even at the price point, it's worth buying because the quality of the build of the car is not is not cheap, and that's what you are paying for the um, for the um, for the Speed Champion style design of the build. There's lots of like, um, uh, lots of like, lots of like, it's it's a good solid solid vehicle. It's not gonna, it's not necessarily gonna break if you actually if you, you it, if said it before it probably break, but it's pretty solid though to be honest with it. I quite like it. I can't say enough good things about it, but I won't keep I won't keep repeating myself though. So and that bit goes up as well. So overall, no complaints whatsoever. Um, I'll put Spider-Man in here before we do before we do that as well, just to show that he goes in here. There isn't a place for his webbing to go, but that's a minor problem. So you put that in there, you put that in there. If you can get a driver from from a Speed Champions Speed Champions driver just to stick uh, stick it in there in a spider in a, maybe in, in Spider-Man gear or something like that. In a Spider-Man get Spider-Man body, put a um, put Spider-Man helmet on. And you've got a really nice build. I'm, I am waffling now, I do apologise, but I just can't say enough good things about this set. This is a good set. Um, I didn't pay, um, I didn't pay um, a lot, I didn't pay the full price for the set, I will admit that, but if, if, I, had, if I had paid full price for it, the, the car build itself makes it worthwhile. If you like your car builds, um, they are good solid builds. They take, um, they are, the build takes a bit, the build takes a bit of time, but it is but it is worth it. Highly recommend this set. Well done, Lego. You've done a really good job on this set. Whoever designed the set um, designed it really well. There will be some Marvel people out there who will say Spider-Man doesn't have, doesn't need a car to go around because he can swing around. Yeah, but this car's good. The car's a good build. Right before before I can repeat myself again. Thank you very much for uh, for watching this video for 10 minutes, watching me talk about how great this car build is um, as a car man. If you have liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments or feedback on this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video and provided your comment is constructive, um, I will give you a shout out. I'm on YouTube, Instagram and threads at the moment, looking to other media, so, if you'd like to follow me on any of those channels, do feel free. Stay safe, keep building, keep, keep web swinging, make mine marvel, and see you on an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.